Salut les amis, bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans mon canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yakusou. I hope you're doing fine today. I hope you had an amazing beginning of the week. I was not here last week, long time no see, of course. I had a couple of personal reasons, sadly. I had to sadly just be not there last week so hopefully i'm back for good definitely back for good we are going to go back on track as in two videos a week so if you're interested in whatever you're gonna see or anything that you've seen before i hope you're gonna just subscribe because it's a lot of fun a lot of adventure twice a week tuesday and thursday 3 p.m eastern time every single week except for last week i do give fashion advice i love 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 sharing anything that i can discover through fashion because the point for me here is for you to just like get any inspiration anything that you can like get from any tips that i'm gonna give you it's all about it so i hope you are ready for it i'm back and i'm happy to be back <laughs> so on the intro part of my video it's gonna be a little hole you know me and hole i'll show you a couple of stuff that i recently but and i'm gonna show you how i would dress it up and i would dress it down i can style it actually so so that you can see that you can do so much with sometimes just some basic and some really nice accessories yeah. <laughs> as you can see i kept the same dress it's gonna be the hat and then the earrings because i think the earrings are so pretty but them at h&m they're just like a super cute really similar to the ones that you know that i have from h&m as well more in that the cold one and this one are silver i wear them every single time I was in love with them so i thought it was a really really great idea to just wear them like that it has a kind of like dull looking type of outfit doesn't even make sense what I'm saying right now. It's okay. I understand myself and I hope you do. Like simple, it's cute, and I think it's a really really nice color because it's all bright. You don't need to do much to it. You don't need to go with something really neutral, nothing too bold. The pink hat was a really nice accent touch to it from ASAS, but every details is gonna be down below, of course. I decided to add my um, little usual classic small bag from zara it's more like print to the whole outfit because everything is natural and really like plain so just to play with like the visual appeal of course you can just add some little nice print and it could be the bag as i did so it's nothing really big so lazy like without doing too much you can see here i added my pair of like white noodles from zara as well i think the white actually adds a lot more sophistication to the outfit which is cute enough but not too much kind of look that could be good for pretty much everybody because it's simple it's basic you don't do much to it you add a bit of a print and my favorite part of it of course is the earrings the last thing from these meals is that because they're white special unique specific shape they actually elongate your legs a bit like light colors and natural so and it's like all flowy any kind of little event any kind of going out restaurant with your girlfriends or anybody else actually <laughs> as a matter of fact we're gonna get to the second one which is gonna be the, the same pair of earrings but what I added is this bag that I recently bought at Zara because it's like all small but it's really heavy because of the beading of course what I love about it is that I get to play with a lot of different type of styles any outfit even if it's like super classic when you add it it just adds the fun part of it I'm not a classic type of person I'm just not like I like, no. <laughs> I don't I don't do that. I recently bought this t-shirt at uh, H&M. Another nice way to just like style the new bag and the top 
along with the earrings. I have the belt which is like a western type of like style. I still have my noodles from Zara that I wear for every single type of outfit as well. So comfortable Dutch and sophisticated look because they are white and because of the shape. So I think it all just plays really nice here. If you liked it, definitely let me know if it's like more your style compared to the first one. A really really casual again because mostly the color and the white color is that it's a really nice classic touch rather to have like too many colors so you have this pair of bag beaded now you can see that up close i love being able to just like clash styles and just mix match everything i think it's so cute i think i'm cool am i i think i'm cool yeah it was my moment here it's okay <laughs> all about being all black and just cute without doing too much it's all about that type of look probably it's not my favorite but it's one of my favorite anyways all the outfits are probably my favorite because i was able to style everything in my own sauce and my own spices and my own you know what i mean yeah <laughs> next is Another type of outfit that I really, 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 really do love a lot because it's all feminine, flirty, cute, yet really, really classic and really, really fun. So, so I have the bag, this dress that is from Zara as well, but it recently at the same time. I already have the white version of this dress, but I think this color is great for fall. A lot of colors like that. I think it's so cute. I think it's great. I love plum color. I think it's like looks great on me. Decided to pair it with black because I think like really sophisticated because of the contrast, and it's definitely something that you can go out with. And I did my pair of leather shoes that I bought a couple of years ago, don't remember where exactly. It adds a bit of edge to the outfit. Add to it the baby bag, I think the combination of all of them are cute. It's definitely my type of uh, feminine look, like, pretty short, so I don't want to have to cover my legs when I have something so big and so flowy, just because it's just gonna like emphasize my height, which is like pretty short. What you can do to just avoid flashing people in the street, a short something underneath it so that everything would happen with the wind or anything you are safe you're covered Not my favorite but i think this one is like cute flowy feminine girly everything you want to do and you can even dance you can do a lot of like really cute little notes you know on the dance floor yeah, i love to dance sorry <laughs> so. And something else you can do when you have this for fall is to add something else over it so it could be that <laughs> any leather jacket ring fall with something like that makes it a lot more easier still have that kind of girly side to it because of the dress of course but whenever you add something much more leatherish much more structured as a leather biker jacket i think it just brings a lot of attitude to it if i could say definitely my vibe definitely my style definitely something that i would go out with i think it's my little i little moment here i feel like a woman never mind so yes <laughs> Ta -da! Ah. here is for the other outfit of course everything here is on the vintage type of vibe or i don't know how you can call it i really love it i think it's much more colorful much more bold compared to the first ones that i showed you another side of me the cut of these pants that i showed you a couple of weeks ago in my previous haul is from zara they're still on sale it's 99.90 now white legs i think it just makes you look a lot taller than you actually are when you have heels with it this necklace is something of my favorite so far recently by bought it at asos it's gonna be down below of course it's definitely worth it you're gonna be able to breathe <laughs> with these bags let me know what you think about it i think it's cute and again an accessory something that you can add with it is this bag that i bought uh, at chinatown if I remember correctly, basic for me, get whenever I don't want to just like look for anything. You can love it, you can hate it, it depends on the side of everybody, but it could be natural, it could be bold. And for what you can do, of course, it's to again add a biker jacket to be much more happier. 
just like me. <laughs> a lot of type of vest that you can wear with it, a lot of type of jacket and blazer. But adding a blazer could be much more classic just because pants are a lot of in the vintage classic type of vibes. So when you add something else that is classic as well, it could be a little bit more classic to work. To bring to work for example i think it's another cute and great way to just do it like i would either just change it up if i have to add like a blazer to it and clash a bit more I don't want to have classic on classic it's not me don't like it just don't like it another outfit with the same pants <laughs> i'll look here so a way to just like style the same pants and see what you can do with it a lot more and be much more going out night out type of outfit than the first that I showed you <laughs> definitely definitely a lot sexier definitely I almost feel naked in it but even though something really more chic and a night out I wouldn't necessarily wear it during the day because it's way too often to my taste <laughs> but super fit it to your body so you really have to be comfortable with your body to be able to wear it and without like feeling not you in it you know fit it back because it's still a black and black when it comes to chic when it comes to classic and sophistication black and gold great combination um, i think it's a great way to just like show you what you can do with the same pants without like changing everything look at it this one is a killer this is like what i call the final contract <laughs> i really say that i did it i'm normal i don't contract you know when you have like first contract is like the first date and you just want to be cute without doing too much and the second date you just reveal a little bit more a little bit without doing too much here and then the third one when you feel there's a potential there well you just give it all without giving anything of course <laughs> stay classy and stay lady <laughs> that's all we need right definitely classy definitely sexy you can again add something else over it and it could be this <laughs> that is just giving the best sophisticated look ever because it's a blazer if something is already much more edgy much more casual much more sexy you can then add something classic without looking too older ish shorts really really light i bought it a long time ago <laughs> super super cute you can really do a lot with that you can be a sexy edgy nice looking lady all the time being classy is the best <laughs> here you go here you go i'm having so much fun doing it this is another look and we still saying that kind of neutral black and white type of like uh color and shade of course i really wanted to play with like the metallic the prints but staying in neutral it was my hat and again my top of course and from asus as well this hat a lot it's really comfy it's a trend as well i love the little details like show you i'm just gonna show you that up close but again was here a way to just like getting slowly to the fall slowly but surely to the fall because yes i think you can wear it during summer depending where you live because some summer are hotter than others and not some are really hot so you can like manage to just i wouldn't try to do it today here for sure because it's madly hot outside i need my you know my bag from zara anything natural with this is just amazing all i can say to that laid back it's white hat is just my new baby i'm gonna have it for fall i'm gonna have so much fun for fall it's gonna be amazing but um i was like other outfit we still in the natural here we still playing with the black and white and you know that kind of middle shade and you know much more street style edgy a super crazy comfortable i mean i would die for sneakers i never was on sneakers being somebody that was never used to wear them as much except for like working out but this year is just the best time ever for that another way to just have it 
Again, really simple, much more street style. You can be on flat, have the sneakers, and have it really, really, really casual and a bit of sexy, if I could say, because it's like much more like tight around the waist. Not this pants as well, because I bought them at Veromoda last year on sales during Christmas, if I remember. The way to dress like a little bit the look, I guess. I don't know. But I love these pants. I'm gonna show you two types of way to just like wear anything over it for fall. This one <laughs> from uh, Zara. Not similar because I bought this one last year for Christmas. Definitely, definitely much more edgy, much more detailed. Really a natural brown. And because of all the silver studs, it doesn't have to be black or white. This is what I call the statement piece. And it's a so, so statement looking you'll be okay with wearing it be a great way to be edgy vibes sporty looking everything you want to do with it <laughs> whenever i see something see how much i can transform it how much i can style it or just one way it's just gonna be something that probably gonna stay in my closet for a lot longer without wearing it at all so versatile is just the key for me first that you can wear with it to me could be this one <laughs> from Zara again bought it last year Christmas same thing the velvet type of jacket you know velvet is like big it was so big this year but it's not as strong as it was like last year it has something like that a vest like that is just unexpected on black on white but because of the texture because of the velvet texture I think it's cute I think it's a great I think it's just elevates your outfits the simple top like that you can do a lot you can do whatever you want with it i think that sky is the limit when it comes to like clothing and versatile because way to just express myself much more so if i need to look for one piece it's going to be a versatile one because i'm going to do a lot more with it earrings here just like kill it even more <laughs> love it love it love it love it so cute okay people I hope you liked it, I hope you adored it. Pop a lookbook like I used to do and I love doing it the way I do. But uh, it was all about showing you a couple of options, everything that I got so far and how you can start it. I think it was much more informative for you to see it that way as well. Let me know if you like this format better, the classic lookbook, if I could say it like that. I love playing with music and I'm still gonna do it anyways. But today was just much more exceptional for a couple of reasons. It really, really is hot outside, not a drug at all. So I wasn't trying to burn myself to death. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a lot linked down below, of course. For the time being, definitely give it a thumbs up if you loved it. Let me know what was your favorite. On my social media, I have my monthly magazine that I'm trying to do each month and it was just a fail till now. But I'm working on it, I'm still working on it. But the main edition is gonna be right down below as well. Once you get access to it, you're gonna have access to every single other edition afterwards and then have it straight to your email box so definitely take a look the other thing is that i have my make a wish lookbook where i actually do a lookbook based on your taste and your style and your unique sense of fashion written in the idea every detail is going to be linked down below of course until then i'm gonna wish you a really happy great beginning of the week i'm gonna see you on thursday with my second video so um have fun, like I say all the time, smile because it's free. <laughs> Bye. Salut les amis, merci d'avoir regardé ma vidéo, j'espère que vous avez adoré. La semaine passée, j'ai disparu, mais c'était pour des raisons personnelles, il y avait pas mal de choses que j'avais besoin de régler, puis là c'est plus ou moins finalisé, donc euh, je devrais revenir à mon horaire habituel qui est deux fois par semaine, mardi et jeudi. Donc euh, aujourd'hui c'était une sorte de lookbook beaucoup plus informatif où je vous expliquais ce que j'ai récemment acheté et comment bien évidemment vous pouvez les incorporer dans votre garde-robe et voir toutes les options que vous pouvez avoir avec juste deux, trois articles sans avoir besoin d'acheter tout le magasin. <rire> c'est tout ça mon problème, c'est que j'ai tendance à acheter tout le magasin, ce qui est assez, hein. ouais, est assez dur des fois. Mais <rire> ici le top et tout ce qu'il y a autour de ça. Donc si vous avez aimé définitivement... Euh, un pouce en haut, ça me ferait plaisir. Puis bien évidemment, n'hésitez pas à vous abonner parce que ça va être des vidéos comme ça. Ça va continuer à être des vidéos comme ça si bien évidemment vous aimez le format. Donc, euh, Lookbook Magazine à mon Make-A-Wish programme. Tout va être en bas, comme d'habitude. Donc, si vous avez des questions, n'hésitez pas à me laisser savoir. Je serai plus que ravie de vous répondre. Et là, je vais vous souhaiter un super beau début de semaine. Puis je vous revois jeudi pour ma deuxième vidéo. Puis comme je le dis toujours, 
sans rien parce que bah c'est gratuit. <rire> Bye.